Good evening. It's Tuesday, June 29, 2021 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and this is Sunstar Tonight. Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia has once again appealed to the Interagency Task Force to let Cebu Province exercise its local autonomy in implementing the arrival protocols for overseas Filipino workers and returning overseas Filipinos. Kenneth Torres reports. Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia has appealed again to the Interagency Task Force to allow the province of Cebu to implement Provincial Ordinance 2021-04, which has adopted Executive Order No. 17, or the Swab Upon Arrival Policy for Overseas Filipino Workers and Returning Filipinos during the special session today at the Capitol Social Hall. Garcia said the provincial government was able to handle the COVID-19 situation in the province. If only the IATF would allow the province to implement implement the swab upon arrival policy. The governor said the ordinance will only apply to Cebuanos. Based on Provincial Ordinance 2021-04, OFWs and ROFs arriving at the Mactan Cebu International Airport will be swabbed upon arrival. The IATF policy mandates the seventh-day swab test. The IATF medical and technical advisors lauded the efforts of the provincial government in the fight against COVID-19. However, they said the province should should also consider the risk of such protocol will be implemented, especially with the presence of the Delta COVID-19 variant. Dr. Edsel Maurice Salvana said that based on the U.S. Center's Disease Control and Prevention, it shows that a 10-day facility-based quarantine period has helped in controlling the Delta variant. World Health Organization said that it is best for the Philippines to have a unified protocols on inbound international travelers to delay the entry of the Delta variant. The IATF said that they might have another deliberation for Cebu protocol, but for now, it has remained in its stand to implement its policy on arriving passengers. Kenneth Torres, Send Start Tonight. The Philippines has shortened the facility-based quarantine for inbound international travelers who have been fully vaccinated in other countries and stayed exclusively in green countries two weeks prior to arrival. Can I thought of support? Malacanang has announced that the country has eased arrival protocols for international travelers who were fully vaccinated from other countries but stayed in green countries or low-risk countries in at least two weeks preceding arrival. The Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases has approved the shortened facility-based quarantine period for these inbound international travelers. Instead of 10 days, these travelers will now spend 7 days in a quarantine facility. They must present to Philippine airport authorities upon arrival, their official documentation of full vaccination validated through the Philippine Overseas Labor Office or present their international certificate of vaccination. In a press briefing, a presidential spokesperson, Harry Roque Jr. said that the Department of Health will issue a list of green countries, inbound international travelers fully vaccinated in the Philippines, regardless of their travel history should have their vaccination cards certified prior to departure through certificate of vaccination record portal of the Department of Information and Communications Technology or the City Health Officer of the local government unit where they were vaccinated. A person is considered fully vaccinated after receiving two doses of two-dose vaccine against COVID-19. Fully vaccinated individuals will also undergo an RT-PCR test only if they developed symptoms of COVID-19. Meanwhile, the country has extended the travel ban for travelers coming from India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, United Arab Emirates, and Oman until July 15, 2021. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight. The National Bureau of Investigation in Central Visayas has rescued two young children inside a drug den in Cebu City. Authorities said one of the children was made to use illegal drugs by its mother. Eric Areglado reports. Seven individuals were arrested by agents of the National Bureau of Investigation, Central Visayas, during an operation in a drug den located between barangays Mambaling and Punta Princesa in Cebu City last June 24. NBI also rescued two minors, aged eight months and two years old, found inside the drug den. Sachet of drugs and illegal drug paraphernalia were recovered during the operation. 
NBI Regional Director Attorney Renan Oliva said that what was alarming was the presence of the minors in the house used as a drug drain by Lisa Miralios, the mother of the two kids. Oliva said, according to the neighbors, the two years old was made to use drugs just to stop crying and was made to play a tutor, a drug paraphernalia. The minors are now in the custody of the Department of Social Welfare and Development 7. Oliva said the mother of the children will be filed charges in the violation of Republic Act 7610 or child abuse and operating a drug den. The arrested persons were identified as Crisanto Saavedra alias Anto, Alfredo Omeres alias Arnel, Melchor Imos alias Miel, Regino Gaboya alias Renren, Jaquil Rosacena alias Bully, Roche Torres alias Gamay, and Arturo Abellana. They will face charges in the violation of Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Eric Arreglado, Sunstar Tonight. Central Visayas received around 68,000 more doses of the Sinovac COVID-19 vaccine today. Kenneth Torres reports. The Department of Health Central Visayas said it received 68,440 additional doses of Sinovac vaccine today from the 1 million doses that arrived in the country yesterday. DOH Central Visayas Medical Program Coordinator for Infectious Diseases, Dr. Van Philip Baton said they are yet to determine the allocation of the doses per local government unit. The 68,440 doses of Sinovac are in addition to the 804,510 doses of mixed COVID-19 vaccine brands that first arrived in the region as of June 23. Meanwhile, a total of 88,186 eligible individuals in Cebu are already fully vaccinated as of June 28. Of the number, 45,871 are from Cebu City, 13,521 are from Mandawi City, 7,294 are from Lapu-Lapu City, and 21,500 are from Cebu Province. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Thanks for watching Sunset Tonight. See you again tomorrow. Good night.